Well, as you can see, I've got a lot of fruit trees uh, planted in containers. The orange ones are all fig trees. The green one is a, a bumper Satsuma orange. The got a red one. I got two red ones. Uh, that first red one is a um, is a chocolate persimmon. The next one down there, red one, is a uh, sens sensui uh, pear. It's an Asian pear. So let me just show you what I'm doing uh, about every 10 days for these uh, trees. Now, when I planted them, first of all, when I planted them, these are in wicking tubs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got a link right up there right about now that will uh, show you how I built uh, wicking tubs and then how I also built some hybrid wicking tubs. And I will have a link at the end uh, of this video to them also and below. So, uh, but these are wicking tubs. They've got a reservoir of water in the bottom of them of about three inches. And uh, when I first made the tub, when I first planted the trees, I did a ring around the edge, top edge of the um, wicking tubs uh, before I mulch them. I've got a heavy wood mulch on them right now. But before I mulch them, I uh, put about, how about a shot glass? You know, not, not a whole lot, probably not enough. Uh, 10, 20, 10 fertilizer. I wanted to, uh, you know, try to get some blooms out of them. And the 20, the uh, middle number of the fertilizer is good for blooms, potassium. So uh, I put 10, 20, 10 in them. I probably needed to uh, put more and probably will come back and put more uh, now. But what I'm doing right now, every 10 days, I'm fertilizing with some uh, a complete um, fertilizer that uh, is liquid soluble. And I'm just pouring it on top. I'm not trying to pour it down the down the tube, that is the field tube, where I would fill, fill it with water, uh, generally, if it starts getting low, or uh, one, once or twice a week, actually. But what I'm doing, and you can see I've already poured some on that one. And uh, so well, let me just show you what I'm doing, what I'm mixing up, and how I am doing it. So in this case, I'm using miracle Grow All-Purpose. Um, it's, it's way too big in the top number, the nitrogen. I think it's got 20... 4% nitrogen, only 8% uh, phosphorus, and 16% uh, potash. Wish it was higher in the middle number, but I, I just found this. I probably had it three or four years, and I just really need to get rid of it. I got some 21, 21, 21 that I've been feeding them, but I just I really need to get rid of the miracle Grow, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna feed them this. So I'm putting one scoop of the miracle Grow, which is about one and a half tablespoons in this bucket. This is a five gallon bucket, but I'm only filling it, I don't want to slosh as I'm walking, so I'm only filling it to about four gallons. And then I'm just, I'm just eyeballing it. Um, eyeballing it as I pour to try to make it four, uh, four different pours uh, where I get a gallon in each of the containers. So let me fill it up with water. And I may try to do a little bit better job stirring it up because it's not doesn't seem to get, be getting uh, mixed up as well as it should. So adding water. Again, this is a four-gallon container. I'm trying to slosh it around well enough to to mix up the fertilizer. I should bring my uh, drill down here with a with a paint mixing uh, tool on the end of it and really give it a good mix. If I see there's a lot of residue in this bucket, I will do that. But for right now, we're mixing it up with the water hose. Trying to get down in there so it doesn't bubble up too much. Anything that's settling on the bottom, try to stir it up a little bit with the force of the hose. When it gets up to about right there, that's about four gallons. Now, Shut the hose off. All I've got out here to mix with right now is a shovel. So I'll just take the shovel handle. Try to mix it up. Most of it's mixed. The water's blue. That's the indicative with the miracle gross indicative that, that uh, it has dissolved. All right, so let's take it out and water the plants.
So that's all my fruit trees. Uh, I will do, uh, I've got some new fruit trees in the ground. Uh, got a little one right there. I've got three uh, back in the back. And I will, um, <coughs> I'll, I'll use that uh, miracle Grow on them too, because they're young and need it. <coughs> I've already fertilized a little bit around the trees with some triple 13. Uh, we got a good rain on it. Anyway, this is all the container trees, fruit trees. And now I'll come over here and do the container blackberries, but I just want to show them. I won't show you me fertilizing them. It's about the same thing, but I did want to show them to you. They <coughs> look marvelous. Uh, that one is about four feet tall and um, about ready to be pruned, about ready to be pruned. So about 10 days, every 10 days, 10 days ago, I did these blackberries. 10 days ago, I did those fruit trees. And um, it uh, seems to be working. Again, normally I'm gonna use the 212121 that I get from Haas Tools. But uh, I just, I found this yesterday. I found the uh, miracle Grow. and just wanna, I, I gotta use it up. I, I hate throwing things away. It's about 10 or $12 for a four pound miracle Grow. Even though it's several years old, it's okay. Uh, they were sealed and everything. I think they're gonna do fine. So just wanted to show you how I fertilize fruit trees and blackberries uh, on a 10 day basis. Uh, I'll do this for a while. I'll do this for uh, through maybe the middle of summer, something like that. And the phosphorus is gonna give them, uh, give them blooms, which they need for the blackberries, but the uh, nitrogen will make those canes get big and, and uh, tall and big around. That's what you want. You want some big, big canes, which are able to, to stand up in the wind, even if you have a trellis. So uh, if you're not subscribed, please do. Uh, I've got a lot going on in containers. Most everything is in containers. Those are tomatoes right there and peppers. Uh, most everything I've got going this year is tomato is, uh, is in containers or in earth boxes or in my homemade earth box clones or grow bags. I've got a lot of grow bags too. So anyway, if you're into that, if you're into container type gardening, uh, this may be the place you wanna, you wanna look around at. So subscribe and also uh, ring that bell below and get notified when I put up a new video. I think that uh, if you're container gardening, I believe this is gonna be a good year for us, okay? The fruit trees are doing phenomenally. That is a chocolate, no, that is a lemon fig. A lemon fig, and it is doing great. The one in the red there is a chocolate persimmon, and it's already above my head, well above my head, even though it's in a 18 inch container there. But it's got blooms all over it. Let me just take you over there if I'm gonna shake the camera a little bit. Look at all the blooms on that chocolate persimmon. All those are blooms that just hadn't opened up yet. It's just loaded with blooms. So I'm fertilizing liquid soluble fertilizer in containers on fruit trees and as i said i will come back right now when i say goodbye and do all my blackberries and watch them grow just fertilize and pour that stuff in and take off running <laughs> all right stay tuned click the bell subscribe we're gone